Now, when I first got to Duluth last year, I remember going to a high school basketball game and being blown away at the talent of one girl, just the poise she had on the court, her IQ of the game. But I was even more shocked when I saw her on the roster listed as a seventh grader. But nothing surprised me more than learning that Chloe Johnson, one of the best in the state of Minnesota, basketball was just the easy part. Today is a day of we're, we're really going to dive into mental training, visualization, staying present. Mental training and staying present was the focus of the day for one of Chloe Johnson and trainer and mentor Deami Stark's daily sessions. Studying the mental part of the game is just one example of what sets Johnson apart from other 14-year-old basketball players. Yes, good D, good D. Yeah, I think that Chloe's always just been a little bit different. And we always say difference good, you know? Go, 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 go! When you watch Johnson on the floor, you can see the difference between her and other players dominating varsity teams while being in just the eighth grade. Oh, There's also a difference you can't see. Don't let up! That makes Johnson who she is. She got diagnosed with selective mutism and then overcame that, but just in time to be diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. And so, what was different about Chloe was just like really meticulous in everything she does. We would go to Lincoln Park and she would have to maybe take her shoes on and off a certain number of times before she could enter the gym. Johnson's parents sought out help from multiple doctors over the years, but it was basketball that they will tell you saved Chloe's life. Becoming the one place where her disorder does not consume her and her mind is at rest. Like when I'm on the court, that like mostly all just goes away. So that's like a nice break from it all. Yep, yep, yep. When I play, it's just like my safe spot in life. Come on, Cole, let's go. And the people that came along with the sport have been just as important, including Sarks, the former Duluth East standout, who took Chloe under his wing six years ago. I just remember her focus. Like she was so, you know, determined. I had no idea about OCD, selective music. I had no idea about that stuff. I knew, like, we had a really good bond. I feel like we're focused, like, the same way. And, like, basketball has, like, helped us through life a lot, so it's pretty easy to connect with it. Yes, yes, boy, yes, good. Her current coach at Duluth Marshall, CJ Osuchiku, also saw something special in Johnson early. So some of the coaches, like, throughout Minneapolis that I've been knowing for a while, like, I used to always tell them, like, when she was in third going into fourth grade that, hey, I got something. They're like, bro, she's in fourth grade. And, like, I'm messaging people, like, all over the country, like, hey, she's going to be, like, really special. And now at 14 years old, Johnson has eight college offers, most recently becoming the youngest player that the University of Iowa women's basketball program has ever recruited. She is basketball. So, like, if you need a rebound, she'll rebound. You need a pass, she'll pass. You need a score, she'll score. You know, but it goes even further than that. Like, she can manipulate everything on the floor. People see the stuff on the surface, but, like, over time is when you're really going to appreciate like what she is. But after learning about Johnson's journey, there have been some to show their appreciation now. So one guy drove six hours to come and watch her in Cass Lake, and he's like, I drove six hours for this moment. You're in eighth grade, but like you have just taught everyone so much yeah, yeah, about yeah. life. That a girl? Yes, Chloe! Yes! Sharing her story of dealing with mental health is something that Johnson wants to continue to share with the world. I just think I can help a lot of people who have the same stuff as me, and like I don't want them to have to go through it. So if they can like read my story and it can help them, I think that's a really cool thing. From Duluth, I'm Alexis Beckett, Northern News Now. And her talent shouldn't be understated. Eighth grade, she's top 10 in points, top 10 in points per game, leads the state in assists and doing that while dealing with Wow, the mental health. That's she, wild. And, yeah, and the fact that incredible. schools had their eye on her when she was, what, third, fourth grade? Third, fourth grade. The school that Caitlin Clark is at decided that Chloe should be the youngest ever. Wow. Look that's out, cool. Caitlin so Clark. So <laughs> excited for her future, and she's right here. Absolutely. She's one of our girls. That's amazing. Pretty cool. Great story. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks. Uh,